The Digital Activism Research Project is an effort to really figure out what's going on with contemporary civic engagement. We are looking for means of doing meaningful comparison across countries and contexts to look at how digital activism is being undertaken, what its effects are, and how those trends might correlate to those effects or even potentially cause certain effects. People have been using digital media in creative ways for a long time. But I think since the Occupy movement and the Arab Spring, there's been a really strong sense that individuals get connected in ways that other political actors uh, are surprised by. We have the way that politics has been undertaken for centuries or decades, depending on how you, where you want to draw your lines, and that digital technology, because it changes the structure and the economics of communication, is changing that. Digital activism as a, a type of civic engagement only really makes sense when you realize that it's technology and personal energy. There's no simple causal pattern that's just technology related. It's never the internet or Facebook or Twitter that simply causes political engagement. But those two things together, a personal interest in getting politically involved and having your own digital tools, turn out to be a really powerful combination for upsetting established political orders, for creating new institutions, and for inspiring other people to think about political life in the same sort of creative way. We mostly understand digital activism through stories. Stories that succeed and stories that fail. But we don't necessarily under understand how they're connected. So if you have three failures and a success, and there's a failure in Iran, there's a failure in the US, there's a failure that is international, and then there was a success in you know, Venezuela, we don't really know what to make of that because we don't have any basis for comparison. One of our normative goals for this project is to eventually be able to talk, to talk about best practices. So to be able to make a list of the good, sensible strategies that make uh, an aspiring environmental group, a human rights group, more likely to be successful in the long term. You know, that's, that's one of our really important goals, to be able to say having a multimedia strategy, telling good digital stories, having a clear target, having a bounded set of goals, whatever the short list is, there's probably a sensible recipe that we can derive by studying digital activism from the last few years to help us be better at civic engagement in the years ahead.